competition. I'm your host Kylie Gum and today I'm going to show you a recipe for pesto sauce. It's a very simple recipe so I hope that you give it a try and I hope that you enjoy it. So let's get started. Okay, first off what you're going to need is two cups of basil which I've already gone ahead and put the basil into the food processor and you can buy a food processor at any of your local department stores um, Walmart, Target, different things like that, and they usually run about $30 to $50 for the cheap ones. So you can go ahead and grab one of those. Also you're going to need to have one fourth cup of pine nuts. You can also use walnuts. Today I'm doing a combination. You're going to want to use two cloves of garlic and some lemon juice, one tablespoon, and then a fourth of a cup to half of a cup of olive oil. Now the reason I have a range is because I usually just eye it to see how much olive oil I'm going to need and I'll show you that in a moment as well. Okay, first we're going to take the basil and you put it into your food processor. Now basil is great because it not only gives pleasant flavors to soups, salads, and other recipes, but it also helps to relieve nervous digestion spasms and headaches associated with indigestion as well. So it's great for digestion. Also, you're going to add in your pine nuts, and so you just pour them right into your food processor. Make sure you get them all in there. Also, pine nuts are very good because they're rich in fat, they're rich in protein, vitamin B, and iron. And so it's also recommended for nervous disorders and anemia as well. Next, we're going to go ahead and add our nutritional yeast flakes. These are good for B12. They're usually enriched with B12. So good for us vegans out there because we're wanting to make sure we get enough B12. So just go ahead and pour that in there as well. We have our two cloves of garlic. And you don't have to chop these up because the food processor will do the chopping for you. Just go ahead and place those into your food processor. I have my lemon juice here, my one tablespoon of lemon juice. And then over top of that, I'm just gonna go ahead and pour in my olive oil. Just enough so it can get it enough wet enough so it can blend it. And then I'll go ahead and continue to eye it to see if I need to add more. So let's get to blending. So I'm noticing that I'm going to need to add a bit more of the olive oil. So I'm just going to add this into the top as I go ahead and blend it. Something to remember that as you're using your food processor, you're going to need to have a spatula or a spoon to wipe down the sides and to get that food off, to scrape it down there so it can get blended with the rest of it. So I'm just gonna scrape the sides and blend it again. Okay, now for your pesto, the way that you find out if it's ready or not is it's not going to be completely smooth. It still has a little bit of the chunks of the basil and also the pine nuts in it as well. So that's the way we want it. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and put this pesto into my bowl here. And when you're making the pasta, if you want it on pasta, you don't really need a lot of this sauce because this doesn't actually make a lot. It blends down quite a bit. But you can put this on your pasta, you can put it on pizza, my mom's pizza that she makes. She makes a whole wheat crust, um, our own pesto sauce just like this, and then also sauteing some vegetables. So maybe I'll make that for you guys someday. I... I'm going to put this onto my Israeli couscous right now and have my lunch. So I hope that you go ahead and give this sauce a try. Let me know what you think. And also you want to make sure that you want to salt it as well. So I have a little bit of salt. Take a couple pinches and then mix it around a little bit. I'm going to give it a taste to see how it actually tastes and see if I need more salt or not. Mmm, it's delicious. So I hope you give this recipe a try, and let me know what you think. Thanks for joining us. 